Close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. And try to remember to stay here, because other thoughts are going to come in and they're going to pull you away. You've got to keep reminding yourself, this is what you want to do, is you want to develop this skill of staying with one thing and not leaving it. Try to make the breath as comfortable as possible. Use your discernment to see what kind of breathing would feel best right now. You might try long breathing for a while and see how that feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Try short breathing for a while. Then you can try fast or slow, heavy or light, deep or shallow. Use both your mindfulness and your discernment. Mindfulness is reminding yourself that you've got to stay here. And discernment is figure out what's the best thing to do is while you're staying here. These two qualities are important in every activity in your life. You've got to keep in mind all the lessons you've learned about what works and wasn't do doesn't work from your experience in the past, from what other people have told you. And then you need to do your discernment to see how you apply those lessons right now, because you can't just assume that what somebody tells you is right and then you just go ahead and do it without really thinking about it. You've got to watch what's happening, watch what's resulting, and figure out what's working and what's not. So you learn how to adjust those lessons from the past. I mean, this is how we learn anything in life. We learn some lessons and then we try to apply them and see where they fit and where they don't fit. Where they don't fit, then you try to adjust them a little bit and see where you can learn further, when what really does work. And so while we're meditating, we're developing two very basic qualities that you're going to need in every activity in life. Mindfulness in particular, you've got to start out with really keeping in mind the fact this is where you want to be. Because you think about all the important lessons we've learned in life, and how many of them do we remember? We forget so easily. We hear many, many times that you don't want to engage in unskillful actions, you don't want to engage in unskillful words, and your mind says, yes, 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 that's true, and then five minutes later you find yourself wandering off, saying something that you really regret afterwards. What happened? Well, there was a moment of forgetfulness there. Something else came into the mind, just barged right over your mindfulness, made you forget the lessons you'd learned. And so you have to be really careful to try to be as mindful. Keep this one point in mind, that what you, whatever you want to do, you want to do it skillfully. You don't want to harm anybody. You don't want to harm yourself. You don't want to harm other people. This is something you really got to keep in mind all the time. So when something comes up and it may seem attractive, you don't just go running for it because it seems attractive. You have to ask yourself, is this in line with my original purpose here? Is this in line with my long-term happiness? And if it's not, you've got to figure out some way to say no. That's where the discernment comes in. Figure out ways to actually get the mind not to do the unskillful things that it wants to do and to want to do the skillful things that it's not yet used to and not yet confident about. You've got to use your discernment to figure out your own mind, what works in getting yourself to do what's right and what's, to stay away from what's wrong. So it's this combination of mindfulness and discernment. You've got to bring them to all your activities. So this is one of the reasons why we practice them all the time, so you can be strong. Then when the time comes to do something that's really important, okay, your powers of mindfulness are stronger, your discernment is sharper. You're much more likely to remember the lessons you've learned from your past experiences and then apply them in an appropriate way. This is all very basic, basic stuff, but it's so easy to forget. That's why we have to keep stressing mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness over and over again, and why you have to keep reminding yourself over and over again that this is where you want to stay, this is what you want to do. Because otherwise, people can pour all kinds of wisdom into your ears, but if it, you forget, it's like it pours in one ear and pours out the other one. Nothing stays. But if you're mindful, you can learn all kinds of lessons, not only from what other people say, but from just observing your own actions. How many times have you done something and you know it's wrong, and five minutes later you do it again? Or you've seen that really it causes trouble and it causes, har causes harm, next day you do it again. You've got to use some imagination. That's the other side of discernment, too, learning how to imagine. There are other ways of saying, responding in this situation. And that way your knowledge begins to build up. It actually becomes a fund of knowledge that you can draw on whenever you need it. So try to work on your mindfulness. Keep stitching these little moments of awareness together with a reminder, okay, this is where you want to stay, this is where you want to focus your mind, this is what you want to do. Then as you do that in the meditation, it begins to become a a refuge in your own mind. 
the fact that you can learn things and remember them, and so you can apply them the next time that situation comes up. It's all very basic stuff, but it's so easy to forget. It's up to you to remind yourself, and nobody else can be mindful for you. So work on developing this power of mindfulness, because it's basic, one of the most basic things in life, for any kind of real success in life.